I found school really boring. So I remember uh, Mrs. Baxter, who was our uh, English teacher, she said, this year class, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be reading Catcher in the Rye. This is very exciting. Uh, and she handed out copies of the Catcher in the Rye. And I went home and I read it and came in prepared to talk about it. What I didn't realize we were going to read it one word at a time all year. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll come back when they've read it. because. I... <laughs> So boring. Uh, and the last school, my parents went to a, a P PTA meeting, uh, and it was very odd. They'd never done that before, and they couldn't find a teacher who knew me. <laughs> wow. So the game was up. So I got sent to British boarding school uh, when I was 14. I'd never lived in Britain before. I arrived with a very thick New York accent. So your parents are still in New York? They were still in New York, and they yeah. Flew you they over flew here. me over to go to a school that they didn't even visit, but they just picked one. Um, Do you ever think about being a fly on the wall while they were having that conversation about you? I think did they discuss it with you? Yeah, no, they didn't discuss it with me. I think they picked the one with the highest walls. I think I was... <laughs> <laughs> it was a terrible school. Let's uh, just send her over yeah, there. Yes, just over there. Um, so I, I arrived and I remember meeting a matron opened the door and uh, she said, good afternoon. I said, oh, hi, I'm Sandy. What's your name? <laughs> I'm matron. What is that, like your first name, your last name? How's that work there? Um, <laughs> and then at the next so, school... Yeah. <laughs> so that was instant love. And uh, because I had an American accent, the girls did something... They sent me somewhere I'd never even heard of, which is Coventry. And for the first six weeks that I lived in the UK, nobody spoke to me. I mean, nobody. No, school, I know. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, and uh, we didn't watch television at school, but one night we were shown a film in the hall, and it was a Brief Encounter. Remember the wonderful film with Celia Johnson and Trevor yeah. Howard? And I sat with there the and I knew by speaking. then I had to change my accent. And so I thought, I'm going to speak like that. And that is why I sound like I'm trapped in a black and white film. But it is... <laughs> <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. It was because I couldn't bear... Uh, for people not yeah. to speak. So is to your me inner monologue the same voice that you still have an inner monologue that's in a When New I'm York tired, oh, yeah. I speak with an American accent.